Okay, hello everyone. This is Ikenna Telephone Phone. In this video, I want to talk about Pojo engine cooling system. Um, today, I'll be starting with one of the cooling system components, which is the thermostat. Hope you can see it. This is not actually a Pojo engine thermostat. Well, but at least it will do. Actually, yeah, it is the purpose I'm doing this video for. So, the function of the thermostat in engines, especially Peugeot engines, and every other internal combustion engine is to regulate the engine temperature. Yeah. This thing you see here, as small as it is, determines how cold and how hot an engine is. But what usually happens in Nigeria is, as soon as a car is so brand new, or uh, cheap into the country as used cars, the first thing a mechanic could do, the first time he lays his hand on an engine, is to bless the engine. And by blessing the engine, what they will do is they will remove this thing and throw it away. They will go straight right away where it's mounted or installed, remove it and throw it away. Reason being, well, the reason they will tell you, or the theory, or their belief behind it is this thing is not suitable for Nigeria climate. That's what they will tell you. That is not good for uh, Africa. That is only meant to be used in the Western world. Talking of US, Canada, European countries, and the rest. Well, let me make it easier for you. The moment you remove this from your engine, you sign the death warrant of that engine. In other words, that engine can only serve you probably two years and it's gone. Because what this thing does is it will just keep the engine temperature at Ultima. We are to allow the engine to work at its best. It's not just about the engine longevity, it also helps to reduce the fuel consumption. Yeah, that's the function of this. So actually, to, to explain the, how it controls the fuel consumption, I'm going to use the temperature gauge. Yeah, you can see this car. This is Pojo 406 V6, manual anyway. So I'm going to use this, the temperature gauge here to explain what I mean by how thermostat controls how high or low the fuel consumption is. So, perhaps I was addicted to the dark side. Somewhere inside my childhood, I miss my heart die. And even though we both came from the same places, the money and the fame made us all change places. Yeah. All right. Um, let's see if I can zoom in. Yes. Now, this is the engine cooling system. Engine cooling system temperature gauge. Yeah. So this gauge, yeah, let me zoom in more. So this gauge tells you the temperature of coolant, or in, in essence, the temperature of the engine. Because the coolant temperature actually determines the temperature of the engine, like I said earlier. So with the thermostat, it will help the temperature to get to about 90 degrees Celsius. You can see that C down there, that's what it means, stands for Celsius. So as long as the engine has warmed up, has warmed up, it will maintain that 90 degrees Celsius. Normally it hovers between 90, 107 or thereabouts, but it will never exceed 110. As, as, according to Pojo, in most of their user manual and even workshop manual I've read, the best temperature for engine is between, I think between 80 or between 70 and 110 degrees Celsius. So what that means is even if your temperature goes to 110, it's safe. As long as it doesn't exceed 110 degrees Celsius. So this is what the function of thermostat. It will just keep the engine. For example, um, let's see if you look at this. Uh, let me see. Um, 
Let me see if I can zoom it that way. Can you see 82 degrees C there? What it means is 82 degrees Celsius. So what that means is this thermostat opens at the 82 degrees Celsius. So once the coolant in the engine becomes hot and gets to this Celsius, it starts to open. I mean, when you, this thing will compress and will allow fluid to pass through here and uh, with the function of water pump, it will start circulating in the engine. So, how does it affect... Let's get the focus. Okay, the focus is back. So how does it affect the fuel consumption? The lower the temperature gauge, the higher the fuel consumption. The higher the temperature gauge, the lower the fuel consumption. So what it means is, if your engine is always running cold, it means your, the fuel consumption will be very high. And if your engine is running very, very hot, as all Pojo cars have come across, they design their engine to run very, very hot. So if your engine is very, very hot, it means the fuel consumption will always be very, very low. And the first, what thermostat does is it will make the temperature to get up to that optimal, to that 90 degrees Celsius or beyond faster. But with that thermostat, it will always stay around that blue zone. You can see that blue zone is probably um, 20 to 60 or even less than 60. That blue zone be under the 70. Yes. So that's where your temperature grade will always be and it will be consuming more, consuming more fuel. Another thing is, when the longer the, thermo, the temperature gauge, the temperature gauge stays around that blue zone, it means the oil will, will be thicker. Yeah, it will always be thicker and colder. It will not be as warm or hot as it's supposed to be to run the engine very well. Because the hotter the oil, the thinner the oil becomes and the better it lubricates the engine. Talking of the crankshaft, the camshaft, uh, all the bearings and uh, the rest inside the engine. So the soon as you get your coolant temperature up to that 90 degrees Celsius, the better for the engine. So if, you're always, if your engine is always running below 70 degrees Celsius or below 90 degrees Celsius, even when you are in motion or the engine is idling, it means you are killing that engine. And what if and the what the thermostat does is to prevent the temperature to be below 90 degrees Celsius, even when you are in motion. Well, it depends on the engine anyway. The the ones produced, I think the SN engine produced um, in the 70s, 80s. Those ones, yeah, they could over around 80 or thereabouts. But the modern, the newer engines now run very, very, very hot, as hot as 110. 107 degrees Celsius. In fact, the cooling fan in Pojo systems, they, they start spinning around 97 degrees Celsius. They stays off until temperature gets to 97, 98, or even 102 degrees Celsius, depending on the engine model and the injection system and all that. So, I hope you understand that. So, that's how you kill your engine, depending on. So, if you ever see your engine, the temperature lower than I've explained, that means you are killing your engine. You may, not, you may say, ah, but you didn't know, you are just hearing it for the first time. Well, it doesn't matter. You are the one doing it. Because if you have read your, owner, your user manual when you bought the car, you would have known that it, it, it's not safe for the engine to run at such temperature. So, um, I think uh, we are done with this uh, explanation. So, I'll do some other. So, so, okay, so I know the question now is how do I know if I have a thermostat in my vehicle or in my Pojo car? Well, it's very easy. I've already explained from the temperature gauge, you can actually tell if you have, you have a thermostat in the system. Oh, this one, I forgot. I actually picked up this thermostat here. 
I just parked the car, came out and saw it lying on the ground. I was like, oh, it's time to do a video on this. You know, you can imagine this is a car park. But probably someone's uh, system or mechanic came here to work on someone's car. The first thing he did was to remove this and throw it away. I mean, if you go around mechanic workshop in Nigeria, <laughs> it's, it's not a big deal. This is what you see on the ground everywhere. That's the first thing they will do. They will throw your thermostat away, they remove it and throw it away with all their stupid beliefs and all that. Well, I, could, I wouldn't blame them because that's the limited knowledge they have. So, like I said, you can tell if your car has thermostat from the way um, from the te way the temperature gauge behaves. I'm talking of the coolant temperature gauge, not the oil temperature gauge. Probably I'll do a different video on the oil temperature gauge. For you to understand, there are two different words, things. They, they have different sizes to indicate which one is the oil and which one is the coolant. So, um, the next one, you can actually tell, you can also tell um, the temperature if you have, sorry, you can also tell if you have a, a thermostat in the engine from the radiator hoses, the upper and the lower hoses. For example, let me show you. So sorry, no, I'm busy. So, so, so um, each radiator has two horses. Okay. The upper, okay, okay, okay. the upper, each of them, each of Pojo radiator has two upper, has two horses, the upper and the lower one. So you can actually tell if uh, there is absence of thermostat or presence of thermostat in Pojo cars from the, the horses. How to tell is you start the car, leave it on, in, in idle. By what I mean idle is if it's manual, you put it on neutral, you know, hold it on handbrake and allow the engine to idle. If it's automatic, you leave it on park, start the engine, leave it there while it's idle. So, uh, if the engine is cold, the best time to do that check is in the morning when the engine is very, very cold. The first time you are starting the car. When you start the car, let the engine idle for like 10, 15 minutes. I think around 15, depending on the, the, the ambient temperature, the weather. If the weather is very, very hot, the, the temperature, the engine will warm up faster. So while the engine is running, the upper or the lower hose, one of them will, become, will start becoming warm or hot, while the other stays cold. Usually the upper one, the upper hose on the radiator is the one that uh, becomes hot why the lower hose stays cold. But I've gone, met some uh, Pojo owners that bought their car, Pojo cars, and the reverse was the case. That the lower hose starts to get hot Why the upper one stays cold. So what matters is this, why it's going on, by the time the temperature gets get to um, 90 degrees Celsius, you have to be using the temperature gauge to check. When it gets to 90 degrees Celsius, come back and touch the lower hose, or probably around 80 degrees Celsius, yeah, depending on the engine. For example, this engine, this is ES engine. I don't know if you see it very well. Yeah. Um, so this is ES engine. ES9J4S to be specific. So, what happens is the thermostat, the, temp, the, the thermostat starts opening at its two degrees Celsius. So it means before the temperature gauge gets to 90 degrees Celsius, the thermostat will open and allow fuel to pass through it. In that case, the lower hose will start to be hot at around 80 degrees Celsius on the temperature gauge, temperature gauge while 
on some pojo engines that have um, opening temperature on uh, engraved on their thermostat. Such cars, their temperature gauge, their, the, temp, the lower hoses, the lower radiator hose will start, will start becoming hot at 90 degrees Celsius when you check the temperature gauge. So what happens is, well, irrespective of engine, what you, be, what you do is once you get to 80 degrees Celsius, come and touch and feel the lower hose or the upper hose. At that time, it's expected that the second hose that the running cold or that's been cold while the other hose is becoming hot will st eventually start getting hot until both of them become very hot. They will stay hot until the, you switch off the engine. Even if you drive for like 400 kilometers or 500 miles, both hoses will stay very hot until you switch off the engine and the next cycle begins when the engine is cold. But if you start your car, if you start your project car and both upper and the lower hoses become warm or hot at the same time, it means there is no other, there is no longer obstruction in the engine because this is what does the obstruction work. It prevents water or coolant to flow from radiator to engine and back until temperature or the engine requires the fuel to be moved with the help of water pump. So that's what it means. If both of them become sort at the same time, it means there is absence of thermostat in the engine. So the best thing you can do for yourself is go and buy that thermostat and install. Of course, I know there are so many fake ones in the market. I say it doesn't stop you from making an inquiry how to get a genuine one. Funny enough, thermostat doesn't even cost how much. For EW engines, it's about five to 7,000 Naira in Nigeria. That's uh, Nigeria currency. Well, the TU engine is about 3,000 or thereabouts. This is, when you compare it to US dollar, it's about less than $10, I think. Well, uh, I don't know. So, they cost a little amount of money. So I don't see why you should run your engine without it. Even if they removed it and they didn't know about it until you bought the car, fine, go and buy, buy the thermostat and install. It's not just to protect your engine. It's also going to lower. I know some people will say, well, I don't intend to use the car for a long time. So even if the engine fails before I, I sell the car, it doesn't matter. Well, it will cost you more because it will cost you more fuel. So you have to, it means you have to spend more in, in running the car or fueling the vehicle. So go and get your thermostat and install. So that's, um, I think this is where I'll stop for now on this video. I'll do more videos on the cooling system using other cooling system components to explain how it works and how cooling system determines the longevity of the engine. So um, also in this video, I attach below an article I've written on this subject, thermostat. The absence and presence of thermostat is consequences on the, on the engine. I know I use puzzle cars to explain this. Though the test I just explained about how to know the absence or presence of thermostat is specifically, specifically for Pojo cars. I think it does not obtain in other brand of cars. They have their own system for how to how the, the cooling system works. So you have to find out yours. But I do know that what applies in Pojo in, in regards to access or presence of thermostat applies to every other brand. So if you are running your car, even if it's not Pojo without the thermostat, you are killing your engine, you are spending more money in fuel. So um, you can, I believe you also learn something from this, even if you don't drive Pojo. Probably I'll do another video, like I said, on other components, especially the fan, the radiator fan, because that is another way Nigeria has abused their Pojo cars. So I'll do a separate video very soon on that. So if you like my video, you can subscribe because I'll be doing a lot of videos on the Pojo maintenance tips. We should go up so help. even if you don't like Pojo, it will help you as well to know how to maintain your car and prevent some of this unnecessary breakdown. Then if you have some subjects you want me to talk about on Pojo cars or car maintenance tips, you can send me email to ikenda 351 at gmail.com. I also put the address under this video. So 
I think that's all for now. We'll see another time, another video. Thanks.